What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars 2 achievement guide. This time we are doing part 5 of 12 for our legendary Halo Wars 2 run through uh, on the campaign. So to start off we just want to send our units to the top left here, the top right and the bottom left. You can see I'm capturing this power node so I get uh, some extra power coming in. Um, and I'm sending my units to the bottom left as well to grab that spare power on the ground and also the top right to grab these spare supplies. And then also uh, the order I build buildings in on this uh, building, or not the building, the base here, is I build two supply pads and then a generator and then another supply pad. But the order isn't too uh, particular or important, but uh, that's just what I do. And I also upgrade all of the supply pads and uh, generators to their heavy version. So heavy supply pad and heavy generator, or whatever it's called, uh, so you bring in more supplies uh, over time. And also, I'm just maxing out my population with Warthogs, because we're going to use those to rush uh, one of the mini-bases in a little bit. So just do all that, uh, and it doesn't matter what order you do it in particular, uh, just make sure you do all those things. Uh, build three extra supply pads from the start, an extra generator, gather all the extra resources around the base there, uh, max out your population with Warthogs, and also you want to make sure that uh, once you do build all the Warthogs, you upgrade the... Uh, the vehicle bay uh, to research uh, better vehicles um, so it upgrades their health and also their damage output and then once you have all of those units built you want to make sure that you start building turrets as well because your base gets attacked a lot in this uh, campaign mission from both air and uh, infantry so you want to make sure two of them are anti-air and two of them are anti-infantry uh, so we'll do that in a little bit but send all your units to the left to take out this first pylon whatever it's called and uh, we will start attacking this. Once it goes down a little bit in health, uh, a bunch of sentinels will start flying around it. So you want to, uh, for the first time actually, uh, Anders does all the work. She just like goes through some scripted dialogue. And uh, Isabel uh, go back and forth. Um, and they'll just like send a, uh, whatever it's called. It's like a Mac, it's like a e EMP Mac blast or something. So uh, just wait for them to do that. They'll do it the first time for you then you got to do it for the remaining times all by yourself. You're a big boy now, so don't worry about it. It's very easy. Um, yeah, again, we're just upgrading our turrets. You want to make two anti-air, two anti-infantry as this is all happening. And uh, you want to make sure that you have uh, used your leader powers because you'll probably get two leader points. You want to use one on your restoration drones to max that out, and you want to use one on battle hardened, which increases your uh, veterancy. Um, so it doesn't increase it right off the bat, but it makes it easier to get. Um, but we're going to move all our Warthogs over here. And you want to make sure that your Archer Missiles and your Restoration Drones are totally uh, recharged at this point um, before you take out that pylon, full, pylon, pylon fully on the left. And here's the scripted part where Anders runs to this uh, center area. She ran right through my Warthogs there. Um, confirmed Anders is a ghost. She's just She died in the first Halo Wars, and now she's just a spirit haunting us. Um, but anyway, seriously, take your Warthogs after that scripted event and move them to the back right. Um, there's a mini base. There's too many bases back here. We're going to take them to the back right. Um, they're just taking damage. We're totally avoiding this base in the middle. We're not going to take that out at all. It's a secondary objective. No need to do that. Um, we're going to use the speed of the Warthogs to come to the back here. And we're going to put some restoration drones on them to help them survive while we take out this base with a, an archer missile uh, attack. And you also want to make sure your warthogs are all firing on that mini base as well. So once you get over there, set the restoration drones in there uh, so your vehicles are being healed. And also uh, direct the fire of all your warthogs onto that mini base and also strike it with a uh, archer missile strike. Um, and it should go down very quickly. And then once it... Uh, kind of cools down, you're able to build your own mini base on there, immediately build it up, and then tear it down. So just build it, start building, and then cancel, and you'll get a free tank and free uh, infantry unit. And then just keep rinsing and repeating uh, this strategy, and you can see we're getting a bunch of tanks at this point. Um, don't worry too much about your uh, initial base here, the original base, because you can see there's a bunch of turrets we set up. Um, and that will do most of the work for you there. And also there's your, uh, your old units are back there as well. The, uh, couple Wolverines and some infantry units. But the reason you're getting all these tanks and, uh, infantry just from blowing up this mini base is due to the fact that, uh, the, what's it called? We have some skulls on, which I did not explain yet because I've been talking about other things. Uh, but the skulls we have on, 
um, enable us to do this a lot easier than if we did them without skulls. So there's some beneficial skulls in Halo Wars 2, unlike other Halo games where they're all just bad for you. Um, so the skulls we have on are Pain Train, Bountiful Harvest, Emperor, Total Annihilation, Fire Starter, Things That Go Boom, and Sugar Cookies. Um, so those are all beneficial skulls. They will make uh, your health uh, better. They'll make your uh, leader powers recharge faster, various things that just make the game easier. But also the final skull that we have on that will enable us to receive a tank and an infantry unit whenever we blow up a mini base or a base is called After Party. So that works two ways. You could see if you were uh, paying attention, you noticed that a wraith and an infantry unit uh, was generated when we took out that mini base initially. So uh, if their if the enemy's base blows up, uh, they get a wraith tank and an infantry unit. And if our base blows up, uh, we get a tank and infantry unit. So basically, we were just blowing up our own base or canceling it uh, before it even was fully built, and we were using that little exploit to create an army of tanks. So. We're just going to keep doing that, and we're going to keep taking out this uh, center pylon here in the back. And uh, just keep doing that. As you uh, need more units, as you lose units, just create uh, more by building up this uh, base here and then tearing it down. And you can see I have one infantry unit in the uh, kind of the tower uh, the tower garrison there. Um, and that's just so I have visibility to the tank, or not the tank, the base, so I can keep building it up and tearing it down. Um, so make sure you throw an infantry unit, um, some random set of marines in there, so you have that visibility. Otherwise, the cloud of war will uh, not allow you to see it, and you won't be able to build on it. Um, you need some uh, somebody there to see it. You can't just build it in the middle of nowhere if you can't see it. But anyway, once you take out that center area, just recall all of your tanks. Um, you'll probably lose some. Actually, on this run-through, I didn't lose any, I don't think, um, which is rare. You'll probably lose some uh, tanks here, which is totally fine. Uh, the strategy still works. It's actually, it works better if you lose some of these tanks because we're going to build some Wolverines. So now at this point, we have a bunch of our tanks healthy, not healthy, but alive at least. Some of them, they actually look pretty healthy. Um, but we're going to build all Wolverines at this point. And I'm sending my Spartan in front. We're going to the east uh, conduit here. So I'm going to send my Spartan in front because there's always a Wraith sitting there. And I'm just going to hijack him. And oddly, he just blows up and disappears. So I don't know what happened there. Usually you get that uh, Wraith tank with your Spartan, but whatever. He's gone, so that's all we need to worry about, really. So we're doing the same thing here. Um, again, this is easier with the with some Wolverines. I have like two, but it's easier when you have more because uh, a bunch of anti or a bunch of air units will uh, be in play here. So you can see that Spirit just uh, drove by, but we took him out anyway even though we only had uh, two Wolverines, so that's fine. But later on, we'll we'll definitely want more Wolverines, but uh, that's all right. We're going to make do with what we have here. So just keep going back and forth, damage the conduit, back up when the Sentinels come in, uh, use your Mac Blast, your EMP Mac Blast, to disrupt the big storm of Sentinels. Uh, move in again until it's totally destroyed. It takes uh, three uh, waves of your attacks uh, for you to totally take a conduit down. Now we're going to move to the other one on the opposite side here. And it doesn't matter which one of these two you take down first. I just always do the one on the right, and then I move to the left. But again, I'm using my Spartan to kind of lead the charge so he could board one of these two wraiths. There's always two wraiths here. So you can see he's taking the top one right now as I focus my fire on the bottom one. And there's a bunch of uh, infantry and banshees and stuff in the area too. But with all these units, uh, they don't last very long. So use your uh, restoration drones as you see fit. And then, uh, obviously, we're just going to rinse and repeat for this side. Same thing. Um, move in, move out. Shake it all about. Doing the hokey pokey, and uh, the conduits are going to go out. So we got one more barrage here. And here we go. Looking pretty weak there. And now, this final uh, little barrier has gone down. So we can move in uh, to the final area. So when you do this, a bunch of anti or I, I keep saying that. When you do this, a bunch of air units come in. You can see all these sentinels uh, start attacking your base. So before that happened, I actually upgraded all my turrets to anti-air. So those sentinels did not last very long there. Um, we are going to move to the right here, which is uh, this area that was not accessible earlier in the game. And there's going to be this big stream of sentinels going across the map. So don't go into that. You need to kill the... Uh, the units, the sentinel units. We're not seeing them here. There's actually a ton of uh, hunters that come upon here. 
and they totally dodged my missile pods or my archer missiles, whatever they are. But you can see we're just going to kind of ignore that. Um, it's kind of intimidating seeing all those hunters and me just not doing anything about it. But I'm going to keep uh, building up my supply pads and uh, turrets as they take them out. Even though, um, like, I know those turrets aren't going to be built because they're just going to keep uh, taking them out. They are serving as a distraction, so they're going to try to blow up those turrets as they're being built instead of blowing up my base. So they could keep doing that all they want. Uh, that's fine with me. Even if I wasn't doing that, uh, these guys over here will take out these, uh, these units before uh, I have to really worry about anything. But just keep an eye on this. That's a very strange uh, occurrence. I... From my experience, there weren't ever that many infantry units, um, especially hunters there. Um, so that's kind of weird. But even with that, we're totally going to uh, finish this mission before they could do any real damage. So this is the part where I was mentioning I would like to have more wolverines. Um, wolverines are obviously anti-air, so they take out those sentinels a lot quicker. Um, but for some reason, uh, my tanks survived like this whole match. Um, normally, um, like two or three of them are destroyed so I'm able to build like six more wolverines and it's a lot uh, quicker but this was pretty quick obviously I sped up this video a little bit for the video uh, for purposes of saving time because uh, we got all the information in so no need to sit around here and uh, wait any longer for that so now you're off in the wild you're able to uh, tackle this mission remember to put those skulls on makes it a lot easier and that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion and on Twitch and Mixer at Silver Scorpion 4. And make sure to check out my podcast called Halo Conversationalists. And I'll see you guys later for more Halo achievements.